Andrew Voislavic, Sales and Marketing Specialist for Page One Solutions. Today, I'm here to give you guys a beginner's guide to understanding Google Analytics. Main reason being, no matter what size of company you have, whether you're a, a plastic surgeon, a dentist, or attorney, or IT company, you need a website. And for you to get the most out of that website, you need to be understand, am I getting the most out of it? Am I getting the right type of traffic? And how can I improve it? So we're gonna give you guys a beginner's guide to that. Today we're gonna cover uh, the Google Analytics dashboard, some basic visitor information you should be able to understand, traffic sources, and content. Now, first thing I wanna show you guys is the actual dashboard you log into within Google Analytics. Every single thing you're gonna get is a 30 day snapshot of what is happening. The main reason I like that is because you can really see in a short time frame what is happening with your website and your traffic. Typically going through somebody's website, you can say, hey, this all looks fine and dandy, and then boom, what happened to my traffic? Well, this right now is actually around the time that Google freshness took place, and Google changed a lot of their format, and right now it's actually uh, their search format and their algorithm, I apologize, and right now they're editing that and it's kind of shaking out, so the site will go ahead and see its traffic go back up. Now, another thing that we get is some basic site usage information from the amount of visits to our website, the amount of page views total, to the amount of time spent on our website. A few other key areas that we're gonna dive into detail here shortly about, one are traffic sources. How are people finding your website? Number two, where are people coming from to get to your website, all important things. First thing I wanna show you is just some basic information on the visitor dashboard. Um, I feel that this can and should be um, one of the most helpful pieces to you. Some basic numbers for you. Average time on site really should be at least about two minutes these days. Two to three minutes is uh, pretty good for amount of time spent on a website. Another thing that we're really looking at um, is to make sure that we're getting the right kind of traffic. And what I mean by that is, am I might get in from the right places? Are you getting too many people finding your website from China, from Australia, from New Zealand? I don't know. Now, let's say you are a local company in the United States. You want to see exactly where all of your visitors are coming from. Now, if you're a national company, you can see uh, graphically where it's coming from, or you can dive down and kind of see um, the actual statistics of the state and the visits. Now, for specific local companies, you know, specific cities, you can see exactly where your traffic's coming from and if you need to focus on optimizing in a new area or make sure that you stop optimizing after a certain area if you don't like that traffic. One question that's not necessarily related to where people are coming from is how they're getting to my website. A lot of people are asking me these days, does a mobile website make sense for my business? Well, by going to the visitor information, the mobile tab and the mobile devices, you can actually see how many people are coming to you from a mobile device. Really, at the end of the day, if you're starting to see 15% of your traffic, really 10 to 15% of your traffic, if not greater, coming to you through a mobile device, yes, you need a mobile solution. Anything less than 10%, don't sweat it just yet. Now, traffic sources are absolutely imperative because this is how people are finding my website. The dashboard gives us some great information here. The top traffic sources overall. Don't confuse this with keywords that people actually you know, type into Google or anything, but these are the actual sources themselves. So this is showing me that Google, uh, the organic, the actual search results, is my top way of getting people to my website. If I was looking at somebody else's analytics out there, I would definitely guess that they've been working on optimization. Direct traffic is simply somebody just typing in your website exactly. So always a cool thing to pay attention to. If you see quite a bit direct traffic, that means that your offline marketing is working out. People either memorize your website uh, or they're catching you from TV, uh, through radio ads or whatever it is, uh, but your offline marketing is probably working quite well, if not word of mouth. Now, one thing I do want to show you and go into detail here are the actual keywords. I always like to look at a top 25 view, and if you really wanted to, you can actually go ahead and by clicking on the actual calendar itself, spread out the length of time that people have actually had to look at you. So we'll go ahead and do a full year. Um, and it's going to take a second to think. Boom! And we can actually see our top 25 keywords over a year. So you can augment this. You don't have to do the 30-day snapshot. You can switch it up quite a bit. But typically, you should probably see your practice or the head of your practice or the partners in your practice um, in the top 10 keywords. Uh, ideally, in the top 25, you're going to find your practice, 
the people that you work with, um, and most importantly, the top three things that you guys want to be optimized for or, or services you want to be found for. If you don't see that, fire whoever you're working for, get somebody to <laughs> The last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the actual content on your pages. What top content is, top content are the most successful pages on your website, the most amount of traffic, most amount of visits. When we look through the actual statistics here, really we want to see a bounce rate below 50%. That's really ideal. And we also see a time on page anywhere between two and three minutes would be excellent as well. So whoever's web page this is, we need to go ahead and start working on them or, or switch up their content. Top exit pages are really cool because these are the pages that need the most work, that are getting most people off your website and to somewhere else. A good website can and should be as sticky as humanly possible. You wanna keep people here as long as you can. Anytime I go through somebody's website and I do a consultation with them, I always spend time going through those first three exit pages, really being uh, careful when I go through, make sure all the links are working, make sure all the images are loading up, making sure that all the animation showing, and most importantly, is the content good or not? Those are all things that you should be looking at in all of your top exit pages. So content, links, images, what's broken, what's not working. Now top landing pages is a little different. Top landing pages are actually how people or what pages people are leaning on to get to your site. So not just your home page can drive traffic, but these are great ways of actually getting more and more people back to your website. So what pages are actually driving the most traffic overall? Now guys, we have covered today a little information on the main dashboard, some visitor information, some traffic sources and content. And that's all I really have for you today. I know it's a general high level overview of every single thing that Google has, and it may not be the, the best, nor is it the worst. But if you do have questions, if you want to see some more specific areas of the analytics, give me a call. My number is 303-396-1211. Or if there's something you want me to talk to you about or give you some great information on, you can send me an email as well. Andrew V at Page One Solutions. Take care.